Welcome back to Dredge. I... I'm not entirely sure what the goal is at the moment, to be honest. I guess we return to the mainland. We have a little treasure, don't we? We have a little treasure to give to our our good friend, the creepy man. So I guess I'll, I'll pop this out in preparation. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think we've got much else going on. I guess we can make a bit of cash from selling our haul. I'm actually maybe we want to take these to the uh, decorator guy. And then we can maybe fly a flag or something. Could be fun. Could be neat. Um... But that aside, I think we're more or less done in this locale at least. So let's let's be off ski. Let's be out ski. I have no desire to hang around the big creature in the middle of the sinkhole any longer. I don't know. I, I expected to kill it or something. Is that harsh? Is that maybe sort of going against the nature of you know being a man of the sea or whatever? To be like, hey, maybe we should we should remove the big monster that kills people <laughs> on a regular basis maybe we don't we don't want one of those around these parts <laughs> I don't know that feels sane to me I feel like the sane person thing to do is to try and remove that thing but I guess maybe it's a little bit too uh, too monstrous too powerful to deal with so we're just gonna sneak on by do our thing and leave Hope the research lady and her newfound dog don't get eaten by it at any point. I keep wanting to fish them just because they're deep. And it feels like to me that means they're worth something, but... They're honestly probably not. No more than a regular fish, at least. We want to head for Blackstone, really, don't we? Need to ignore the lighthouse for now I think I believe it's that that's just appearing on the horizon now I mean it's pretty spooky out right now don't get me wrong there's a good chance some some bad shit might happen on on route but probably just as much chance of bad shit happening on the way to the lighthouse so fuck it you know I keep sailing around those mist clouds because, um, just because I don't know what they are, it's entirely possible they're just, you know, nothing. They're just scenery. They're just a little bit of ambiance. Kill my engines, you'll never see me. Shh. Oh, he's seen me. He's seen me. Change of plan. Where's, where's, where's go fast? There it is. Ow. Ha. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I successfully not died. Look at me go. Yeah, it took a little bit of a little bit of a bump on the way, but yeah, I know the crimson glow in the sky has gone away. You don't really have much interesting to say anymore back in the starting town, do you? I feel like I've exhausted all of your shit at this point, and I am exhausted with your shit as well. That was mean. That was mean. They're nice people. They're good people. Even the fishermen who, you know. Eight uh, weird mutant fish, and I still feel like something weird's gonna go on with him at some point. One second. Really? Alright, if you insist. Well, maybe we'd have some crabs. I guess maybe if you leave it too long, the, crab, the crabs damage the thing and escape. I guess maybe that's what happens. I, I, I actually do not care about crabbing anymore. I can just go in here. Um, I guess we'll just sleep then. What were we needing for this? Just cash. We'll have to do a bit of fishing then. It'd be real nice if we'd had some crabs to sell, but alas. Alright. Let's go do what needs doing. I don't know if there's much worth in fishing these early game fish now when there's like 
I, I guess I'm not going to make any money doing anything else around these parts, am I? So I might as well. Might as well. Got to get rich somehow. Walk in and place the jewel encrusted ring on a table by the collector. His eyes widen. <sighs> We're certainly making excellent progress now, and I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at any auction, but for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you're due a reward. He opens the crimson book, its spine crackling audibly. Selecting a page carefully, he begins to read aloud. The words sound muffled, as though he's speaking through a thick haze. You hear a growling, crackling in your ears. Suddenly your vision flares and both of your ears pop. He closes the book. We must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we might find another. I can imagine all manner of detritus swallowed by the silty muck of Twisted Strand's channels. It's worth investigating. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Uh, nothing really. I'll just keep doing your bidding. I didn't really see what you gave me that time. I wasn't really paying attention. To be fair, I've, I've not used the previous one yet. Banishing words can dispel most evils for a time. Okay, maybe we can we can remove the bad boat potentially. Ah, right. Yeah, we can teleport back here, which. Probably is what I should have done when I was returning here, but never mind. It's not that far, to be fair. I, I quite like making the journey. I f it feels like there's more stakes that way rather than just fast traveling everywhere. Again, I, I've said it before, I don't think fast traveling is... I think it's useful in some games where the map is just too unwieldy, but I don't think it, it should be like the, uh, the be-all, end-all way of moving around the world like a lot of people seem to think it is. I'm... Uh, I'm quite happy to have a game where, uh, you know, I hoof it on foot a lot of places. Deal with the challenges of the game, you know. I don't really know why I grabbed that wood. I don't need that wood right now. There's a storage box here. Yeah, good. <laughs> I was a little bit worried for a second. Well, what could I help you with today? This, that wasn't his voice. That was, that was the vendor who sounded like that. I don't know what this guy sounded like. I'm just going to deliver you a flag. Mm -hmm. So you found a scrap of fabric, eh? Let me see. Unique design. Do you want to attach it now? Sure. Mm. As you wish. What can I help you with today? Deliver flag. Mm -hmm. So you found a scrap of fabric. No, I like my other one. That's it. That's all I wanted to do. I've got a little, my little Roboros uh, flag up there. That's pretty cool. Um, right. To just grab the haul out of here. Thankfully, it's all small things. <laughs> Hang on, let me just grab an achievement real quick. There we go. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize I had two little things. I could have just done it the old fashioned way. I'm also very aware of the fact that I never finished this map, and that presumably is like an. Uh, isolated to that area we were just in sort of deal. I think I can probably work out where it is just from what I've got though, to be fair. This was the guy. This was the, the old prospector sounding motherfucker. Um, sell all trinkets. And now we can afford the upgrade! Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Might as well still grab some, some more fish on the way back to town, though. We're not about to make any uh, great, incredible journeys this day specifically, so I might as well uh, do a little bit of selling up. That's it. That's literally all I can fish. I think I can probably grab one of these as well. 
not those. Still not those. These! You can actually get two of them. Nope. How is that depleted? I've not been here. <laughs> Did I like fish it to within one fish of exhausting it and it they don't restock unless you absolutely exhaust them? The lighthouse keeper approaches you on the dock wearing a questioning expression. You must have been around most of the islands by now. Have you found whatever it is you're looking for? I'm just fishing. She recoils from your flagrant lie. Why do you mistrust me so? What have I done to warrant such suspicion? She turns from you, shaking her head and muttering. She heads back to the lighthouse. Maybe I should be more open with the lighthouse keeper. She's clearly important to the plot in some way, but... Um... I am just fishing, to be fair. Yeah, I do some, some side hustles, but... Priority is the fishing, and always will be. Doing pretty well on this upgrade tree, though. Look, look, how, look, how, look how well I'm doing. Really proud of myself. I'm not really paying attention to what's what on the upgrades. I will just get them all, so I don't really care that much. You know? I do have um, one of these in here that I might as well drop off while I'm at it. Yeah, whatever. Buy some fish. <laughs> uh, can I afford a rod as well now? I've, I've made a bit of cash. Uh. Wasn't there a, a rod I... Yeah, I wanted to get these rods, I guess. Although I could just wait until I've researched the one that does more stuff. Let me double check how the research looks. I know that. That one. That's the one I need, isn't it? For mangrove and volcanic. Yeah, I should start building towards that, but I've got this engine to unlock for... Do I care about not having mangrove and volcanic? Like, if if I get to the point where I need one of those for a quest, I'll just buy it then. Yeah, I guess that's probably... That's probably an acceptable way of doing things, probably. I'm just going to grab a few more fish before the day's over. Just... Sorry, squid, not fish. Squid is what I'm grabbing. They're like fish. In many ways, they live in the water. They presumably have gills. Is that true? <laughs> it's probably true. <laughs> I assume they don't like have they're not like whales where they have to go up and surface to get air occasionally. I find that crazy, by the way, that there's like whole species of creatures out there that live underwater but can't actually breathe underwater. For some reason I thought I was done there. I don't know why. I don't know where I got that idea from. Pretty good day's haul, I think. Not worth that much money, because it's early game fish, but whatever, it's fine. Where are we heading next, then? I haven't actually checked the map yet. This one. This one looks an absolute bitch to navigate around. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things to explode between a lot of these paths and stuff. I think that's like there's one place of relevance as well. Before we do this though, let me just check that treasure map I found. I might have to actually complete the treasure map before I can legally do anything with it, but there's two little islands and then there's like, I'm not going to say it, but something vaguely phallic there and a little tiny little dot underneath it. That sort of vaguely phallic shape should be fairly easy to spot, you'd think? I 
I mean said that I am I'm not seeing it right now. It might be that like you have to be more zoomed in. Like it could be like this. You know what I mean? Oh, it could just be that I'm blind, but either way, I am not seeing what the map is pointing to, so never mind, never mind to that, I guess. Let's go on an incredible journey. Oh, that's shiny though. Look, it's shiny. I have to fish the shiny thing, even if it is going to eat into my travel time. I don't really remember what shiny means. Is it just like increased chance of an abyssal fish or something? Is that all it means? Am I wasting my time here? That is an abyssal fish. A lumpy mackerel. <laughs> Well, that was a waste of a few hours. I should still have time to get to my new home, though. My home away from home. Oh, fuck, hang on. I need to be picking all this shit up. Like, fish respawn, I don't think these do. So, like, there's a limited supply of, um... Of upgrade materials, and I should really just be collecting them when I get the opportunity. Or else I'll be kicking myself later when I'm like, where did I see that scrap, you know? I've not been to these little islands here yet. But it looks like there's a boat over there. Is that a boat? It looks like a boat. Presumably not a hostile boat, though, because those only come out at night. I might just explore these islands this time, hope there's a little campsite here or something I can rest on and then move on afterwards. Although it doesn't look like there's a little anything I can rest on here. Hello. You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board but nobody appears to greet you. Hold out. Almost immediately a small slot in the door opens. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? A monster. Ha, uh, very funny. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. D do I seem okay? No, I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Marrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. I, I, it hung in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bought it for the shallows. I'm going. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. I could deliver the package to Little Maro for you. Mm. you. You would. Well, that could work, I guess. That was a coffin for a second. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Uh, thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock walker at Little, Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. I don't have the equipment for it, just so just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Mm. Here, why don't you take this too? Again, an, an item emerges from the door hole. I was reading this in his voice. <laughs> this time a book is pushed through and thuds onto the deck below. You pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. Forgot about reading. One of these is the one he just gave me. The other one is the one from the, 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 the book written by the scientist. Oh, obviously I'm going to read them both in time, so it doesn't really matter which I do first. Let me just grab this and then head out. Head back to the Marrows. Uh, not there. It's that. It's that in that direction. Things might get a little bit spooky here, but I don't know. I'm a brave man. I'm ready to brave the the 
braveries. <laughs> Nothing gets past me, I'll tell you. Nothing scares me in my big powerful boat. Well, that's annoying. Of all the things I could have lost overboard, of all the fucking things, you know what? We're running it back. That was a. It's not a. It's like a giant. It's not a boat. That's my first time seeing that, clearly. It's not a boat. It pretends to be a boat. It's a giant fish. It's like an anglerfish, but it uses a boat as like... Oh, that's clever. Silly, but clever. Where is it? I need it to kick my ass. I want to run it back. Let me run it back. There's probably just a load option somewhere, to be fair. Probably just... I don't see one, actually. Oh well, there's one way we can die, right? <laughs> I don't know where my last save was, so I might get a bit mad about this, but... Okay, fair enough. Um, right. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna run that back. I wanna do the, I wanna do the, I wanna do the quest. I wanna see what the reward is, you know? Interesting stuff, exciting stuff. I'm going to refish all of the upgrade materials and valuables that I fished last time. Unfortunately, we have to we have to sit through this again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It has to be this way. I'm 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 just so triggered that the, the quest item. I've, like I wouldn't have cared if I'd lost anything else. I, I I wouldn't have even cared if I'd lost a fishing rod. You know. But I had to lose the quest item when I made that little that little bump. That triggered me enough to make me do this. <laughs> there really should just be a load option, though. Like, it's easy enough to wreck your ship, but it, it, it's it's a pointless waste of time. There might, there might be a load option somewhere. To be fair, I might be I might be being silly. Might be being a silly Billy. It's very possible. It was cool finally getting to see what the deal with that random spooky ghost ship's all about, though. Did I fish this one last time? I don't remember this one last time. I might have uh, somehow not, not seen that one. Say the same things as last time, get the same results. Thank you. Get reminded at this exact point to read a book. Which is definitely me trying to keep the canon of what I did last time and not just me forgetting to read a book again. <laughs> it's nice that he's sending me to Little Marrow when he's surrounded by little vendable things I can sell at Little Marrow. Like, convenient, I would say. And it's slightly lighter because I didn't spend a load of time fishing pointless shit beforehand, so. Slightly fewer threats. Problem is, at night time, I want to put the lights on so I can see where I'm going. But I also want to have haste readied in case I get assaulted. So it's. It's a little bit. It's a little bit awkward. I'm gonna go this way a bit, I think, because. I hit a rock when I was going direct last time. There we go. Smooth sailing. If I do say so myself. Which I do. Maybe 
35 bucks, but better than nothing. Oh, what's the day treating you? I've got a package for you. Mm. Uh, delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes the large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me and wish me luck. He turns and hurries off to the dock without another word to you. Or compensation. Uh, well, that was a bit of a waste of time. I guess we'll try speaking to the, the dude on the boat if he's still there, but... That might just be it. It may just be foreshadowing for something else that happens later, perhaps. <sighs> really should have dropped off the scrap in my chest while I was there as well. I'm not about to turn around now, though. I will just have a full inventory. <laughs> I'm happy to live with that. Such is my lot in life. I really hope the floating pontoon's over here somewhere. The worst punishment you could give me in this game is just give me a place where I can't sell anything or store anything. Just sit with a full inventory for an extended period of time. Really do think I'm gonna need a mangrove fishing rod over here, aren't I? That looks like the floating pontoon, I think. Right there. The shape emerging. Let me just let me just fish this real quick. Let me just fish this real quick. Ooh. Neat. These are new. Viper fish. Oh. A decrepit viper fish, its gnashing teeth are the only hint that its withered body still holds life, an urge to bite that persists in perpetuity. Relatable, honestly. Try not to make a joke about that one YouTuber. I can't even remember his name. There was a YouTuber who was biting people or something. Haha, <laughs> epic. <laughs> Fuck. What am I hearing right now? Oh, this is like an entirely different mini game. Gotta get me that oceanic rod. I mean, I've got an oceanic rod, but I need to get that one that like combines oceanic and uh, the other two. Probably buy one right here, to be fair. But I haven't locked it right, it's just. This is horrible. This is going to suck. I mean, it is night time, so maybe it's less horrible during the day, perhaps, but... Do not like. Oh. I love the sound of rain against the roof of my cabin. Is there anything better? Yes, there's buying fish. Yeah, let me, uh... Let me upgrade my light slots, because that's something I definitely care about right now. That is my number one priority, more light slots. <laughs> that light that I use all the time, you know. Uh, can I buy... You'll need to put a few more engines on that thing if you want to be as fast as mine, haha! <laughs> Did I not on... am I... am I... Being dense, did I not unlock the the one that does? Help, I might be being dense. Oh no, I didn't unlock that one. I didn't unlock that one even slightly. I just imagined that, I guess. Huh. <laughs> I really don't know why I thought I had that. Well, to be fair, I do have a... Oceanic Rod. I can't fit it, though, because it's the wrong shape. That's really annoying. Fuck. I could not care about 
coastal and shallow, but I feel like I'm probably going to need to fairly soon. I could not care about Hadel equip the Abyssal next to the coastal and shallow, and then put the Oceanic here. That might be more sensible, to be fair. Let's do that. Not a long-term solution, but for now, I think this works for me. Okay. Quick rest. Let me try this new minigame, because I got excited about it. Was it this? I mean, that's coastal, so it's not the one I was looking for, but... Okay. It's like that, is it? I see. Not great at timing this, although to be fair, it's not saying I'm failing it, so I must be doing it right. It doesn't feel right, though. Twisting, twitching tendrils sprout from the gill plates of this little fish. They heave in unison, moving the fish against its will. Oh, hang on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hey, it's cool. It's a cool fish. It doesn't feel good to breathe this air. <laughs> this doesn't feel sensible. <laughs> Why is it like this? <laughs> Why is it this way? Tuna. I thought tunas were huge. Why is it only taking two slots? Is that just telling me how fucking huge some of the other fish are? that tunas are small in comparison. I don't think so though, I think I think this tuna should be like this big. <laughs> oh well. There's one thing I know about fish. I'm not, I'm not much of a fish guy, but I do know that tunas are very, very big. They are large, large fish. Are you something cool? Just more of these? I mean, I might, I might as well. I don't really want to go exploring the island reef until, um, you know, unless it's like first thing in the morning, so I've got time to do so. So I'm just going to do some fishing for today, I think. I do think I'm going to want um, a mangrove rod around here. So it's probably worth making a bit of extra cash for that. Unfortunately not finding a lot of research points at the moment, so I can't uh, I can't move towards the multi-purpose rod, unfortunately. Okay, 225 quid, that's not bad. Not a bad little day's work. Wish I could make that much money in a day. That's, that's not bad at all. Right. We got time? Yeah, we got time. We got time. We got plenty of time. Let's go exploring. Okay. Alright. I do like the aesthetic here, I have to admit. Yeah, we need immediately need mangrove. That's just coastal. What was this thing over? Did you see this thing over here a second ago? There was a thing hanging from this tree, and I think it just dropped into the water. A little bit concerning. You're new. A tarpon. Isn't that the guy who writes out in John's lyrics? <laughs> right. Let's go exploring. I'm not seeing any immediate threats, at least, which I guess is, is something. Oh, looky here. 
Uh, stone hums quietly, place your hand on the stone, it doesn't respond to your touch, cool. There's something, there's something about those rocks. Mangrove. The weird thing about this area is there isn't a new M like it's just the the pontoon girl. It's the only NPC about. So there's not anyone to sort of guide my progress in any way. I think we're gonna give that a wide berth. I think we're not gonna mess with that. I assume we can blow those logs up with explosives. Been this way. This place, it seems, is a little bit of a maze. Why if we go under this? I mean, it's just watching me. It's not being mean about it. It's just just keeping an eye on me, which is reasonable. I am in its house. Now, what the, all these little um, these little markers are all about? Oh, hang on. Someone's got an arrow on it. It's saying go that way. All right. That was stupid. Oh, I'm so slow now. I'm so slow now. And yet I shall sol sh 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 soldier, not shoulder, soldier onwards. I get the feeling this is going to become real dangerous at night. But, what have we here? That is a big plane, like, surely that shouldn't be that big. It's like a, a fighter plane, right? Why is it that big? Compared to the size of my boat. That feels weird. Don't really understand that. Okay, why do I want that? Why do I want a mortar? Am I going to blow up the poor little creature who just hangs out here innocently? Occasionally looks at me? I don't think he deserves that. I don't think he's a bad guy deep down. Hesitant to put the lights on. I probably should though. I don't know if that's going to like draw attention to me. They did say something about that right back at the start of the game that you can see more but things can see you more or something. I don't care. More of that black rock over there. I'm actually not far from the X. Oh, the eyeballs are the eyeballs are kicking in. I should probably head out. I should probably not be here anymore. Even if the actual monster of the of the week isn't coming for me, I get the feeling I'm gonna have the the spirit shark flying at me in a second. Okay, wasn't expecting that. The uh, the space is um, sort of terraforming around me a little bit right now. Something just did a big splishy splash. What was splishy splashing behind me a second ago? Or dare I not look? Oh, Christ. What's the deal with the birds? Oh, fuck. They... They're stealing my fish. I mean, if all the stealing is my fish, I can live with that. Like, I'm not, I'm not particularly bothered about losing fish. If they start stealing other stuff, I might get a bit more money. Yeah, they just, they just empty the hold of fish. That's fine. Not bothered about that.
There's a bit of cash could help repair my engines, but of all the things I could lose, that's uh, you know could be a lot worse. Hey, I, I had a I had a bit of a had a bit of a boo boo. Had a bit of an issue. Thank you. Thank you for your help. I appreciate your service. No, not that one. There we go. Some of these upgrades are getting pretty expensive individually, so the new hull is uh, its going to take some time, I think. We have only just got the last one, though, so I can't complain too much. I don't have any fish. I don't know why I clicked this. Do you think I should carry this with me in case I, like, need it? Like, I feel like that's a quest item, right? I feel like we needed... I should sleep. I should sleep. I feel like we needed that to, um... Progress in this area. Because, there's not, as I say, there's not any clear-cut, like, NPCs saying, Go fish me six octopuses or whatever. Like, it's... It's less quest-driven, it seems to just be more down to my own exploration of the area, and it seems like if I'm going to find something specific like that, there's probably a reason for it. See another one of those... There's another one of those planes, like, there. I don't know if it's worth going around the island and trying to get into that from a different angle. Because it also has shiny gold loot. Also, we found a message in a bottle, let me just read that. Not had one of these in a while. Received the sum of fifty dollars and zero cents in exchange for one silver necklace with emeralds on silver mounting. Additional notes received a further three dollars for custom engraving on reverse of mounting customer to return tomorrow, twenty third of December for collection. Engraving is to be as follows for J, my shining star. Just a receipt. Just a receipt, you know, buying a necklace for someone or something. Uh Hello. He didn't seem hostile. Just doing his little crocodile thing, that's fine. Ooh, cool. Even more reason to to fish and scrap. And I forgot you could get research points doing this. Is that a mortar tube? We're definitely building a mortar for some reason here. I'm not sure why. But I guess we're going to blow something up. Another massage. It was like years since I've been warm. I do not expect him to write. I just need to know that he thinks of me from time to time. The next few lines have been smudged out. He must return. More angry smudging follows. I've written him another letter. This will be the last one. No date on that one, it's worth noting. Did I finish? No, I didn't finish reading. It's right here in front of me. Nearly there. How do I get in there? I feel like we're definitely going to have to blow some shit up. Probably with the mortar, in all honesty. It's probably what the mortar is going to be for, is getting into that area. Maybe we have to explode the suspicious creature with it and then the vines will stop moving around me. There we go. Getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Still not the thing I was looking for. It's literally right here in front of me. I don't know why I keep looking in submenus for it. What did that do then? 15% resilience to panic. Okay, I'll take that. Now let's get a plan for the future. Just 
This one's a bit hectic. All for some earrings, alright. Thought maybe we were going to get something really cool there. It's just fish. No one cares about fish. What is this? Some sort of fishing game? Don't make me laugh. No one, no one's out here for the fish. I'm out here for the horror. <laughs> That's my deadliest catch. Speaking of horror. Guess I'm not going that way. Yeah, it seems like this guy isn't out to kill me. He's just out to fuck with me. Closing paths up and stuff. So that this is probably probably is what the mortar's for. Feels, feels a bit cruel. He's clearly just like... Non-hostilely defending his territory. And I'm thinking up plans to just blow the fucker out of the world. Also, these lights are not that good, considering how expensive they were. They're not that much an improvement on the shitty ones I had before. Worth mentioning, I think. Yeah, I know, I know, things are spooky. That's why I've written. That's why I've returned to the pontoon. Um. Sure, I'll do that upgrade. Why not? This next one looks a bit pricey, though. 300. 300, you say? Do a little bit of research. Just one more. Dump some shit in storage. Not a lot, admittedly, but some shit in storage. I'm going for one more. I'm going for one more today. One more run. I can't seem to turn my lights off. There we go. I somehow accidentally switched what I had equipped. I don't know how I did that. Okay, I'm assuming you're not going to let me go this way then, pal. You're going to throw up a wall when I try and go in here? Oh, he is actually coming for me now. Okay, I didn't realise he did that. That's news to me. I don't know, I seem to have just got here pretty... relatively safely. Didn't think this would happen. A large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving at a wooden stake. He stands as you pull ashore. <laughs> he should have a voice, really, shouldn't he? He should. He looks like a character who deserves a voice, but I think I'm all out. I don't think there are any anymore. Stranger, from that look on your face, I'd say you've encountered the local wretches. Take a seat. You join him by the fire. I've been trying to rid them from this accursed jungle ever since we wrecked it. The boy is called the Mind Suckers on account of them, well, affecting the mind. They make us see things, do things. I'd ask you for safe passage away from here, but not until after I've avenged my squadron. I'm listening. I've met a few would-be rescuers over the years, but none would help me in my fight. Are you different to the rest? I can help. I figured you'd be up for it. You have the look. Listen up. First we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. We'll then use that to bombard the beast. Well, you're in luck, my friend. Mm. Other planes went to the north and east of where we are now. I'll mark the possible crash sites on your map. Come and see what you can salvage. Hmm? Well, funny you should say that. I found the parts of the mortar. That's the lot. Now, while I work on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of my plan. You may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoons around here. I've assembled those traps for the mine suckers. We just need to lure them in there. Once they're in, you see, I can fire on them with our new mortar. And that'll be the end of them. No more nightmares. Mm. I'll mark the locations of the traps on your map. Got it. I understand, so what's next? We need to make three special baits from different combinations of fish. Alright, okay, let's discuss the bait for the first one. That one takes three fish from the area to make. 
Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Cool. I don't have all the fish for the bait yet. Come back when you got the rest. Second one. Okay. Don't know what those are. <laughs> I think we need a mangrove rob. R rob? A mangrove rob is what we need. Mangrove rob. The, uh, the legend. The fishing legend from the mangrove. Okay. Uh, how were you on your squad mates? I've hung a few of their dog tags up on the tree behind me. It seemed fitting enough. But I've only got tags from the ones I... You must understand, I never found all of their bodies. If you happen to find any of their dog tags, I could add them to the tree with their brothers. I have a number of mechanical doodads that you might find useful. Here, take this one in good faith. I'll give you much more for each tag you bring me. Okay, keep my eyes open. I will remember that. Right, so let's go get a mangrove rod. Um, and... Uh, Start collecting a bunch of local fish for this nerd. For some reason I expected it to be difficult to get to him, you know. I expected uh, these fuckers to close all the vines in front of it so that I couldn't just go directly to the dude, but... I was overthinking it, turns out. Massively overthinking it. It's a lot more simple than I gave it credit for. So here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I do need to get a mangrove rod, but... <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, you know what I'm saying? You, you're with me on this? How much is the mangrove rod? 315. How much is the Raj new engine? 450. I can only get one or the other. This makes me sad. <laughs> It makes me sad because I want both so much. I guess we need to buy the thing that's more pressing. I guess. To storage. But. I will come back for you, my sweet. Anyway, I think that's it for today. Next time we're going to have to go on a bit of a fishing spree around these parts. Um, make some bait kill some monsters it'll be a grand old time but until then sit tight and i'll see you next time bye